Before we begin, I wanted to say a really huge mega thank you to those of you who are supporting me through getting the merch. It really means the world to me because I have so many amazing plans for this channel that just knowing that I have your support, whether it be by merch or watching, commenting, and liking, I really can't thank you enough. This has got to be probably my favorite design because it has a lot of the inside jokes that we share with each other. So if you were thinking of grabbing one, we are pretty much halfway through the campaign. There's only about a week and a half left. After that, I am not selling this design again. It will not ever be available again. When I say limited edition, I mean it. Let's be very clear over here. I don't usually let Salty Crafter in the kitchen. I just don't know what kind of hazard she is with, with flames. But the other day, I walked in on her leisurely cooking and it smelled pretty good. And then when I asked her, hey, Salty Crafter, what you got there? I kid you not, she pulled out a whole craft kit. How does it fit in a tiny pot like this? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what kind of magic she does. And so for this week's uh, kit under attack, we have mini tarts pastry set. Essentially, this kit is teaching you how to make your own pop tarts. That's that's pretty much what it comes down to. I am so excited, and I figured I need to do I need to do this kit sooner than later because by the time this video's out, I'm on a diet. This kit costs $25 Canadian from Walmart. Interestingly enough, there are no reviews on the website, so after this uh, video, let's be the first. Time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. A mini tart plastic thing, but there's no electricity, I swear. If we have to shove this in the microwave, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Star sprinkles, 150 grams of flour, 125 grams of frosting, 125 grams of pink frosting, so the other one was white, an instructional manual, and some piping bags. I can't help but feel just a little, just a little gift because if you look on the box itself, it's showing different colors of frosting. We have blue, we have brown, and at some point we even have purple, but we're also led to believe that there may have been some kind of flavoring with strawberries and chocolate being on the box itself, but there's no stuffing. So we have another bit of inconsistency. On the box, it says it requires eggs and milk. So of course, I made sure I have both eggs and milk, but now they changed their mind. Inside the actual instructions, it says eggs, butter, water. So, butter. Since I kind of get a reaction from butter, I'm going to go ahead and use olive oil. I know it's not going to be the same thing, so we're not going to blame the texture. We're just going to go with the process. Another thing that I found really interesting is that we actually get to bake these pastries. They don't go in the microwave like the baking gods. All right, let's do the doing. Apparently, we're supposed to use all the powders, and that's the reason they didn't give us any sealable bags. All of it. Well, all of the flour, but not the frosting. So where's my sealable bag? So the first thing we have to do is use a whole bag of flour, except for a tablespoon for later. Put two tablespoons of white frosting, add the butter, some of the egg, and mix it. For those of you who like to bake, please teach me how do you add spoons of whisk egg when all it does is fall off, fall off the spoon. I mean, this is barely, barely a half trying. Oh, oh, we got it. Half. For someone who isn't experienced with baking, I really do feel like these drawings on the instructions are absolute trash. Because when you're making food, it really does help to see pictures of each step. Is my dough supposed to look like this? Is it supposed to be a little runnier? I don't know. I had to add more egg because otherwise it was still pretty powdery. So I went ahead and added more egg. All right, let's roll it up and make some pastries. So as you can see, my, my pink parts on the roller have an even flatness. My biggest worry is we're supposed to be cutting eight of this shape. Eight of this shape, from what I understand, half of this. Because eight of this shape will give us four Pop-Tarts. Part of me is very skeptical, but we'll do it anyways. All right, I am getting triggered in so many different ways today. This is supposed to be a sweets kit, but I'm finding that the salt is rising within me. Did that, that flower in my mouth? <laughs> the box says that it makes eight 
tasty pastries. Eight of them. This is the last bit of the first half of the dough, and I've only made two before this one. This is the third, which means in total we're not making eight pastries. We're making six halves, which means we're only doing three pastries. That is misleading in so many ways. Someone did not do the calculations. For the filling, all we're doing is frosting sugar and water. I'm not gonna do the whole pouch because that's just gonna be way too much. Another thing that bugs me is, okay, let's say you don't wanna put chocolate and you also don't wanna put any kind of fruity filling because you're afraid it would expire. How about putting some flavoring for that pink? Maybe put strawberry flavoring, that could help. Longer shelf life, I don't know. I'm just saying, this is pretty plain. All right, just so you know, I did both halves of the dough and this is the only thing that's left from it. And I did indeed make only six pieces, which means three tarts, not eight. I may not be the smartest cookie, but my math isn't that bad. It's not eight. It's not eight! So I'm going to try three different fillings. I'm going to do one of them with their pink frosting. The other one, I'm going to be putting some apricot jam. And then the last one, chocolate chips. All right, now for the moment of truth, we're supposed to sprinkle a little flour right on top and then press it really, really hard. Sprinkle. This is technically so that it doesn't stick to the above plastic. All right, fingers crossed. And I think I'm gonna have to stand up. Ready, steady, go. Okay, I'm gonna push all the weight of the saltiness. I mean, technically it's supposed to be the force of a six-year-old, right? That's, that's what the box says. I have the force of multiple six-year-olds. And ta-da! Interestingly enough, I used their scoop, their measurement for the frosting, and that's the only one that came out and leaked. So we'll just remove the excess. All right, the only thing left to do is to put this whole silicone section in the oven for about 17 minutes. I'll see you then. A few moments later. All right, so here we are. It is a little bit warm, but I mean, these things are technically warm, right? You put them in a toaster for a reason. And it's interesting to note that the only one that really leaked was the one using their own frosting filling. The jam didn't leak and it was really over. I did not go easy on that. I mean, look at it again. I, I filled it plenty. And I guess this is the chocolate and it seems pretty sturdy. So we're gonna take a bite out of each and I'll let you know. You could decorate it, but in all honesty, the decorating is just very gimmicky. Kind of misleading because you don't get all the colors on the box. All right, let's start with this one. Yeah, it's empty on the inside. And you can tell the pastry is not fully cooked through. And for some reason, it just wasn't turning golden brown. So I'm essentially just eating dough. Time for jam. <laughs> ah, burn! Well, at least we know the stuffing stays inside. I'm gonna go cry. So we can see immediately that this here really did stay in place. So the chocolate chips are just a little melty, but not quite. Just enough to kind of be soft. Yeah, they're okay. They're not, they're not that special. My favorite one has got to be the jam. If we're to look on Amazon, you can see that a pastry press is $6 with free shipping. In essence, we're paying $25, so that's Canadian, for a pastry press. The recipe's not that great. The amount you're getting is completely different from what's mentioned on the box. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go over there and have the chat. Time to find out. Is this kit? Here on Salty Crafter, we're all about the salt. You know how there are the basic four elements, earth, fire, wind, and water. We have access to the fifth element, which is only a secret for us. Okay, so don't tell anyone. This is just between us. Fifth element is salt. So there are salt bits. <laughs> the box itself is really inconsistent. It, it says milk, but then nowhere are we using milk. And then nowhere on the front of the box does it say butter. And then we need butter. Don't confuse me. Having a filling that is just sugar seems to be beside the point of Pop-Tarts because you get all these different flavors. You get marshmallows, you get chocolate. And, and all the, I haven't had Pop-Tarts in the longest time. I don't know what they put in them anymore, but at least they could have mimicked that. There are no sealable bags for the frosting. Obviously, we're not using the whole frosting bag, so why is it not sealable? I would really love for companies to stop doing that. If it's not meant to be used, all of it. Give me sealable bags. When it comes to food and cooking, I really do expect that the instructions have pictures, not drawings. How am I supposed to know what consistency something should be unless you actively show me how to do it? It's like buying cookbooks. I don't buy cookbooks unless there are pictures in there. The box says we can make eight pastries. Even though I've used the entirety of the flour bag, we were only able to make three. That is a huge difference, which means that the company only delivered 37.5 
percent of the promised project. Why weren't we given any kind of chocolate or even chocolate frosting? If you're worried that things can expire, then give us a frosting that at least mimics what's on the box because of all the colors you're showing, which is a color of lights. If they're worried about perishable things, why couldn't they give us flavorings? So if you don't want to give us chocolate, give us chocolate flavoring. If you don't want to give us, you know, something with strawberry, give us strawberry flavoring. This kit in itself is just so plain. It's just flour and colored sugar. Here are a couple of back-to-back -back cons. The dough thickness, is it good? The frosting thickness, is it good? Which leads me into the instructions being extremely incomplete. They really should have a visual of how things work, which made me doubt quite a bit since I'm pretty much a beginner when it comes to sweets. The colors that are on the box are not in the box. Not much to say about that except they totally misled us. More lies. This kit is pretty much overpriced for paying for a bad recipe as well as just a pastry press. The whole gimmick of this is make real food! but. We're really not making real food, especially if the recipe is incomplete and all we're doing is just pressing it and shoving it in the oven. We could just pay a lot less and have our own ingredients and be a lot less disappointed. I'm not all salt, but when I am, let me explain. There are two pros. This does have actual steps and recipe to make dough. May not be the greatest, but at least you do get your hands dirty. You can still reuse the mold, even though the kit is a disappointment. If you already got it and you're stuck with it, at least you can find your own recipe and reuse them because the silicone mold can still go in the oven and the press can still press. With that said, I would give this kit a 1 on 10 dorks. Yes, we have ingredients, but the recipe sucks. There's not enough material. And you grains know how I feel about not enough materials. And the box is extremely misleading. Is it worth it? That is entirely up to you, but no. If you want to watch a salty video, make sure you check over here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check over here. Please remember to check out my merch. It is only limited edition. After this print, I will not offer it again. So if you like this design, make sure that you do pick it up before it is gone or good.